What's going on everybody? Welcome back to the Georgia Bassmaster channel. Today we're going to be talking about how to break down a pond and basically the tips and strategies I use to fish, especially a pond you've never fished before. And this 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 lake right here is pretty bare. Uh, it was built about four or five years ago. It's just a little Florida pond and uh, there's basically no structure. There's no crazy drop-offs. There's nothing substantially crazy about the lake where you could just be like, oh, this is where the fish are going to be right here. I'm going to give you uh, like three or four basic simple tips and strategies on where I can find fish out here when there's basically no structure. And uh, today's video is sponsored by Mystery Tackle Box, so make sure you go on Mystery Tackle Box and uh, subscribe and get you a, get a subscription. You can get $10 off your first monthly subscription with the code Georgia, so you can get your first box for like $10. Pretty good little uh, subscription boxes you guys can get, a bunch of, bunch of tackle, baits, lures. But without any further ado, we're going to go ahead and get you guys into this video. If you're new to my channel, make sure you click that subscribe button. And uh, we're going to get into the drone, get to walking around this lake and telling you guys where I like to fish. So first things first, as you can see, this little curve right here, there are four. This lake's kind of almost like a square shape, so there are four. There's four corners in the lake. And the first place I always like to fish in a pond like this is these tight corners. This one isn't the tightest. The actual tightest corner is right there in the back. And I'll show you guys that on the drone. That one right there probably makes about a 30 degree angle. And it's a great place for fish, big bass especially, to trap bluegill up in that pocket. So a lot of times they'll stay deep inside. But this right here is basically like a 90 degree angle right here. But I'll work these pockets right here. That's the first place I'm going to work in a pond because those straightaways, especially with no any type of structure, it's not the greatest place. All right, so the first place to fish is corners slash coves. So there, like I said, there are four coves slash corners of the lake where fish can trap smaller bait fish. That's my number one location I'm going to be hitting first and foremost. A little one. I've been casting like super far off the bank, thinking they were out there in the deep, and that one was like eight foot off the bank. So I don't know. It is a dink though, so not the healthiest one. <clears throat> Maybe we'll start casting a little closer to the bank. I don't know. I really like this color worm though. What do you guys think? It's kind of like red. The chartreuse tip. Look pretty good to me. So the location we're in right now is actually one of the only natural structures in the lake. And uh, you have all this, you have all these cattails right here. And uh, it's a good spot for bluegill to hide, and it's basically the only structure in the lake. And these bluegills are in it super thick. When I actually walk by, I can see them all of them going crazy, but I've caught a lot of fish right here. Biggin boys. Biggin boys. Okay. I'm just gonna walk you over here. You running back in now? Alright, so first one, not bad, probably pushing three and a half. Pretty good fish. But uh got it on the old finesse worm i've been trying bluegill out here been trying topwater ploppers finesse worm got it done for me so 
So literally as I was walking by these cattails right here, a big old bass literally like exploded on a bluegill as, as I was walking by. So like I was saying, that grass is a really good area. And not only is it because the grass is a good area, these fish stay right here. We're also in another corner. So it's like a two for one combo right here. I catch a lot of fish right here because they can trap these bluegill in this grass. And there's a short, tight curve right here. So we're in the second pocket and we're also in the grass area. So I'm gonna give me a cast by this grass. I literally just had a fish on. Let it go. Right here we have this grass and that is literally the only natural structure in the whole lake. There's no rocks. The whole lake is basically like it slopes off like this and then it's flat out there. There's no humps, there's no islands. So in your lake, there may be more natural structure as in like <clears throat> little islands, drop offs, not really any of those out here. So the only natural structure here is the grass line. Location number three are drains. Drains are always a great place. This lake has two inlet drains and one outlet drain. So right here below me, you probably can't see it. There's a concrete drain that comes into the lake and basically anytime it rains, it, uh, it's basically washing water into the lake. So right here we have a drain inlet. It's also in a cove and it's also beside the grass line. So there's three awesome locations right here in one. And the fish usually pile in this location just for that. And they also like to go in that drain when it gets super hot and it's a lot cooler because it's shaded. I'm gonna walk you guys over here to drain number two and then drain number three. So I get that this lens isn't really polarized and the sun's not out too great, but there's another inlet drain right here under the water. It's about two and a half, three feet under the water, right in that area. You can't really see it, but that is the drain number two that these fish like to stay around. And we're also in a pocket. So this is a good spot to catch a fish. So here we are at the last drain location. This is an outlet drain, basically an over, overflow drain. And uh, this is, all, this is a, uh, another good spot. And like I said, this spot right here, earlier I was telling you, it is the tightest pocket in the lake. So this pocket right here probably makes like a 30 degree angle. And it's really great for trapping these fish in. I've caught a lot of big ones here. Uh, probably my biggest ones in the lake I've caught out of this wet area right here, a bunch of five, six, six and a half pounders. We have coves, corners, natural, natural structure, and a cove technically is also a natural structure, but a natural structure is grass, rocks, drop-offs. So check those, that's number two. Number three is drains. Lakes always have a drain or an overflow valve or a spillway, something like that. And even if your lake has a spillway and you don't consider that structure, it's a good location because it has a current it's pulling the water out of. And a lot of times bait fish will hang around that and uh, big bass like that too. There we go. Well, not the biggest one, but out here trying to dodge these sprinklers that are going off. Ah. So you guys see those bluegill beds right there? That's what I was talking about. I missed a big one there in the morning time. On the plopper. So let me know what kind of fish spawn this time of year. Like obviously there's some type of sunfish. Is it just regular bluegill? Do they spawn in the fall? I don't know. Pretty confused. So another location that's pretty good, I don't really have here, is most lakes have a uh, man-made dam. This lake was man-made, but it doesn't actually have a dam per se, like most lakes do. And uh, the dam is usually the deepest location of the lake. I know most everybody thinks the middle of the lake is the deepest, and that's not the true. That's not true. The closer you get to the dam, that is the deepest section of the lake. So if you have a dam at your lake, which you 
95% chance probably do. And uh, it's summertime especially, go fish on the dam, throw out, that's gonna be the deepest section of the lake. The worms, jigs, that's gonna be where a lot of these big fish in the summertime are hiding. So there are the four locations and the four areas I fish for a pond. If you enjoyed the pond breakdown, maybe I'll do another one in the future for you guys. Let me know how you liked it in the comments below. Without any further ado, we'll see you guys on the next episode. See you guys later. Thank you.